delete the default cube add mass circle tab into edit mode and then select the vertex selection mode or one from your keyboard and then enable proportional editing or press O in your keyboard make sure you select the smooth as the profile and then select one vertex top view num7 in your keyboard and then G and then you will see the effective area you can reduce the radius of the effective area by scrolling your mouse and then when you find it uh, appropriate just grab your uh, drag your mouse to change the the vertex position so let's make a kind of like a shape of a tree a twisted tree okay go to side view number one in your numpad a to select all now E to extrude and then Z to constrain to Z axis and then drag your mouse to form the tree stump. Select the loop cuts, click on the middle and then from the option box increase the loop number of loop cuts to 5 maybe and then select the selection box and then you will end up with this tree trunk. Let's go to the bottom and make sure you select the edge selection mode click on one of the edge while you are holding down the alt key now go to face grid fill top select the edge loop E to extrude right click and then scale oh make sure that you turn off the proportional editing now scale again and then click and then again scale E right click and then scale slightly now again E right click grab and then Z pull it down now you are making the cavity of the tree stump now again E right click scale E right click scale all right let's put a, a edge loop on top of the stump I'll explain why at a later stage and now the top part is almost done um, yeah let's twist this trunk select the uh, one face facing upward and then go to select similar normals that will select all the faces facing upward the same normal direction now enable the proportional editing R and then Z and then adjust your effective radius so that you will end up with a kind of like a twisting tree stump now let's build some roots select the uh, vertex selection mode click on one vertex somewhere here oh, make sure that you switch off the proportional editing click on one edge GG to slide slide you are not changing the uh, orientation but you are moving the location of the uh, the vertex let's move this uh, edge away from our root and then get this vertex slightly close to that edge now the other side get these two three vertices away from our root and then expand our root slightly GG GG alright face selection mode select the root now E to extrude scale and now the root is little above the ground I need to bring it down G and then Z pull it down now get this 
point of view R and then Z and then drag your mouse to rotate the face and then extrude again scale grab it down so I'm repeating the same thing for the this root as well as for the other roots as well I will make this uh, video a little fast forward so that you can move on to the other section fast I'm done with all these uh, roots. Let's go to the top view and then do some uh, modifications so that we give it a kind of like a character to this stump. Select couple of um, adjacent faces. Make sure that you select all these uh, tiny faces uh, close to the edges as well. now extrude E to extrude now exclude some faces shift select on one of these two sections and then extrude again and now exclude one section from either side and then extrude again now eliminate two sections consecutive section from one side maybe three and then extrude slightly and then again extrude very tiny bit extrude a tiny bit let's put one edge loop somewhere here to make sure that it's not deforming too much when we apply subdivision surface alright control 2 to apply subdivision surface in the object mode now go to object shade smooth alright let's save this first tree stump ok let's have some uh, small branch so that it has a unique character let's go to edit mode and then select um, maybe this okay make sure that you have a, a face selection mode and select these six faces and then I to inset now scale Z right click loop tools circle if it is not available you can go to preferences edit preferences add-ons search for loop tools and then enable that alright now I will do another inset again I very tiny bit and then extrude now grab G Z R X rotate the face along around X axis and then scale extrude rotate along around x-axis and then scale and then extrude alright let's add another branch get a loop cut one here and another one here go to paste selection mode and then select these four faces and then I to inset and then right click loop tools circles now it is rotated let's rotate this along uh, x axis so that we will orient that shape properly now scale it slightly down and then extrude 
this time rotate around y axis r y now extrude and then scale that's pretty much it all right so our base uh, tree stump is done what I want to do now is add a very you know small leaf at the end of this branch let's go to edit mode select the the, the face that is uh, at the end of that branch and then go to object mode and then add a plane scale it down and now get a loop cut one here and then three along the other side go to object mode and then apply control 2 to apply subdivision surface modifier to that leaf go to edit mode select the vertex selection mode select the top vertex and then grab it along that uh, line and then grab zipped Z so that it will not move along Z axis only along X and Y axis click on this and then enable proportional editing change the effective radius and then adjust your vertices to make it like a leaf now edge selection mode select the middle edge alt click on one edge and then grab Z all right now it's getting the shape now I want to move the origin point of this leaf to the stem so I open my side tools by pressing N and then select uh, tools and then enable origins so if I grab now I grab only the origin not the object and then if you uh, turn it off again now you can select the object and let's move it slightly to the other side as well okay now if you are in the object mode select the object shift s selection to cursor so that will move the origin of that leaf to the uh, the cursor so that it goes to the end of that branch so okay looks good to me now all right select that assign some materials click on that let's assign some you know maybe like a decaying color a blah maybe a slight brown and also okay uh, select the stump and then select brown I'm not assigning any uh, texture so the main goal of this uh, tutorial is to model this stump so if you want you can go ahead and apply some texture so that you can have a nice looking um, tree stump all right that concludes our tutorial so hope you enjoy this one um, remember to subscribe so that you will get my all the other videos as well when I am uploading a new video you will get a notification um, yeah Thanks for watching.